All right, so I'm gonna make this a quick one. There's been a lot of requests for the top plate design of my rocker plate, uh, which is here. Now, I wanted to release this, but um, finding the time to do so has been challenging. I will be releasing this in a DXF file, which will have all the measurements in it. However, it is a 2D flat file, so I want to go into some of the details. All right. So first and foremost, this rocker plate is 60 inches long. If your bicycle wheelbase is not less than 60 inches long, you're gonna run into issues. Now I have a size 58 bike and it fits with a little wiggle room in the front. Keep that in mind. What you wanna do is put your bike on the trainer Measure from the back of the trainer to the front of your tire and make sure it is less than 60 inches. If it's any more than that, you're going to either have your front wheel off or your, your trainer is going to stick out the back. Now, I designed it to be 60 inches because this fits on a 5x5. Five five. Uh, it was 62 or 3 inches initially, but uh, the guy that I was working with on the CNC, they were doing furniture and they had a standard 5x5 five five board. These two pieces will fit on a standard 5x5 five five sheet of plywood. So if you can find a CNC guy that has, that has the 5x5 five five pieces, this is going to fit perfectly on one. And that's kind of what I had in mind when I designed this. Alright, so the hole in the middle is it's 32 millimeters at 7 millimeters deep. That will now account for this bullseye level. Uh, you can simply glue it in. Uh, I wanted to go this route instead of the one from the bottom because the one from the bottom does take up some, some uh, unnecessary space and it just doesn't flush up uh, as well as I'd like. So this is 37 by 7 deep and um, also is not an all the way through cut. It only goes down 7 millimeters from a 3 quarter, three and a quarter inch thick birch plywood and yeah I'm mixing up uh, measurement standards but that's just the way it is also the bottom I have recessed holes you don't have to do a countersink hole you can do you know whatever you want but this design does account for the countersink hole these channels are for the balls um, and then also I adjusted the top plate which is one of my main goals Let's take a look at that. So the top plate mounting lines are 127 millimeters or uh, it's going to be 5 inches from, from the center of the mounting brackets for the standoffs which are on this plate. Uh, they're 5 inches to the center of the linear rod bearing mounting and that's going to allow you for some compression in the spring here in here and then everything else is self-explanatory these holes are specifically for the kicker I did make these mounting brackets for a tax vortex and I believe they're one inch off to use um, one and a half inch uh, center so you can use the one and a half inch u-bolts in these and um, you can use those as well uh, to, to mount the tax uh, tax flux and any of them that have that. Alright, so what I have found is that the kicker has two bolts that go through here and I believe these are 10 millimeter. I found some that are about 110 millimeter that go all the way through and you can mount them um, with this design you can mount them directly through these holes here and it will secure um, the kicker through these holes but you will have to find a, f a washer to go in here because there's pretty big there's a pretty big recess in, in this um, kind of standoff plastic piece this looks like the new one but in the old one it has yeah this is the old one so it just has the bolts and if you find a good um, spacer you can mount the 10 millimeter I think it's 110 millimeter long right through here and so I use these uh, stage light clamps for my rocker. They're kind of expensive. Um, there are other options. You can just, you know, strap it down with um, 
uh, Velcro straps or whatever you want, but I wanted to secure mine in. I don't ever plan on taking it off of the, the rocker, so these are an option as well. That's it. I'm going to make the DXF available for this, uh, for this file in the uh, description box there and uh, shoot me a message when you completed it. Send me some pictures. I want to see, uh, see what you've done. I know a couple of people have already started on this design and um, pretty impressive they cut by hand. So you, you should be able to take, if you have a CNC guy in your area, you should be able to take him the DXF file and he should be able to, to, um, to cut it out. But one thing to note is when you do look at this DXF, uh, let's just do a test. And we're gonna do top plate. So one thing when you're looking at, you are gonna see two holes here. If you only wanna do a cut straight through, the center hole is the way to go. If you want to have a countersunk hole, use the outer one, and this will take a 12 millimeter washer. So, that's that, and also one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at this is that the, the new bullseye level is not all the way through. This hole here is not all the way through. It's only seven millimeters deep. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that. Enjoy the file. Let me know when you uh, when you finish it. Show me pics. I like to see them. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again very soon. I've got a video coming out uh, for other updates.